So today I'm going to be teaching you abdominal breathing. Abdominal breathing is the most basic breath that you will learn in yoga. It's a foundational breath. If you know how to abdominal breathe, you can learn all the other breath techniques that are available through yoga. And these breath techniques are called pranayama in yoga. Pranayama is very powerful because it has the ability to relax the body and also energize the mind and also detoxify the body. So I would love to guide you through these techniques, but today, as I said, we're going to start with abdominal breathing. So let's just come into easy sitting pose, which you in, place your left hand on your chest and your right hand over it. Close your eyes or soften your gaze, whatever you're comfortable with. And take a deep inhale, guiding this breath into your belly and a slow exhale. And again, inhale. And a slow exhale. Continue with that breath cycle, breathing in this life force energy, taking all this energy into every cell of your body, into the top of your lungs, and slow, like you're blowing out through a straw, slowly feeling your face relax and your shoulders. And you can now drop your hands to your knees and with helping hands, come to lay on your back. Now it's best to learn abdominal breathing when you are lying flat on your back, placing a pillow under your neck if you are comfortable. If you have back pain, place a pillow under your knees. Make sure your elbows touch the ground and if not, get some support. And if you have low back pain or tight hamstrings, place a pillow under your knees. Now just relax, ground into Mother Earth. Let your feet fall out and feel yourself grounding into the earth beneath you. Now bring your hands to your belly Touch both index fingers and both thumbs and place it around your navel. Relax your forehead. Relax your eyes. Relax your cheeks, your tongue, and the root of your tongue. And let's connect to the breath. Take a deep inhale, feeling your belly rise, and exhale. Beautiful. And again, inhale, air rising in all directions, and exhale. Continue on your own breath cycle. These breath cycles should be long. smooth, natural, and not feeling that you have too much effort behind it. When you breathe right, it completely relaxes your neurological system. If you feel you are straining, then you are doing the opposite. So again, inhale, Feeling that belly rise in all directions. And exhale. Inhale again, feeling your belly lift up into the diaphragm, pushing up against the lungs. And a slow exhale. And on your next inhale, Inhaling into the kidneys and the liver, and all the abdominal organs, and slowly exhale. 
Inhale again into the intestines, into the bladder, into the pelvis, and slowly exhale. Beautiful. Now we're going to add some counting to this breath cycle. You're going to inhale to the count of four and exhale to the count of four. Now let's begin. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Belly rises. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Now let the breath go. Feeling an energy shift happening in the body. You feeling calm, yet alert. We're going to do an even slower breath cycle. You're going to inhale to the count of four and exhale to the count of six. Let's begin. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Continue your breath cycles. This abdominal breath is hugely beneficial for dealing with chronic stress. If you have chronic stress, you can use this video three times a day before breakfast, before lunch, and before going to bed. This breath technique has the benefits of shifting you from your sympathetic state to your parasympathetic state, where things slow down. We're working on the pharmaceuticals of the brain to release the body's natural tranquilizers, serotonin, melatonin, dopamine. These have no side effects. So if you're having problems sleeping at night, this is a great one to do. And you'll find yourself in the morning after a deep, fall, deep sleep full rest. It's also great if you're having anger management issues or if you just need to calm down and slow down those racing thoughts. Continue your breath cycles. And when you're ready, just hug both knees to your chest. You can remove the blocks if you have them under your elbows and hug the knees in with both hands and you're going to do some abdominal breathing in this position 
Take a deep inhale, feeling your belly rise into your thighs, and a slow exhale. This position is great if you're having abdominal issues like constipation. For women, it's great for the pelvis and the uterus. It's also a great position to stretch the low back. Continue your abdominal cycles, inhaling, feeling that belly rise in all directions, inhaling into the back, and exhale. Maybe two more breath cycles here, inhale, exhale, one more. Beautiful. Now you can choose to roll over onto your right side or rock back and forth and come back into your easy sitting pose. You can choose to keep your eyes closed, soften your gaze or open your eyes. Your palms are on your knees facing upward, thumbs touching the finger, John Mudra. This improves our connection to our inner wisdom. Take a deep inhale in sitting, feeling your belly rise. And exhale. Continue for two more breath cycles, a deep inhale. And a slow exhale. Last one. Just let your breath go. Bring your attention to the middle of your forehead. If you're feeling calm and alert, return back to this feeling as often as you can. Stay connected to this as often as you can by returning to your breath.